know why. I know why it is. The the um the the um wheel is hitting the door over there. Okay, is that better for you? I bet forgot this at home. And I thought I was going to die. Finally, I got to church and got, they gave me a water thing. Oh, I'm all messed up tonight. <clears throat> While you're waiting on people to come in, we need to make a list of what you're going to talk about. Okay. About the homework. But that's later on when everybody gets in. Hey, Barry. Christy, how's it going, baby? Hey, Christy. I've been running around like a mad woman tonight. <clears throat> Let's Starting the fireworks again. Mm -hmm. Me too. Just got. I gotta pull this closer to us. Back to the store. If I don't, if I don't knock it over, right? We've been put, we're cutting up mangoes all day, Chris. Well, not all day. Since pretty noon. much all day. Since noon. There's Teresa. Hey, Teresa, are you at home or are you on your way home? Uh, there's Holland. What's up? <laughs> What's up, Billy Billy? <laughs> Holland, I taught him how to make mango jam tonight. He he made his first jar of jelly tonight. <clears throat> he says, cool. Uh-huh. It, it's good too. I taste it. See, you can teach an old dog new tricks. <laughs> Are you an old dog? I'm old. Yeah, you are. You're a whole lot older than me. Oh, she's, she's at home. home. Praise God. I prayed for you all day. I hope you had a very good day. That light's almost too much. No, it's, it's okay. Freaky old dogs. Yes, they are. They definitely are. She said, thank you. She did have a better day. Well, praise God. I'm praying that somehow, some way, maybe YouTube, maybe YouTube will give you the income that you need to be able to quit that job. Just saying. Good. He says the lighting's great. Cool. You see the... Uh, the jars right there, those are the jars he made of jelly. I'm so proud of him. He listened very well. Hey, Patty, how's it going? I'll be here in a minute. 
She's finishing up another live. Oh, okay. I'm going to pull it too much more. I don't want it to fall over in my lap. Mm -hmm. Don't want that to happen. Oh, Holland. Guess what I got right next to me? Mm. Man, it smells so good, don't it, babe? Yeah. You I didn't hold it up very long enough for them to identify. He knows what it is. Oh. <laughs> He's the one that gave him the seeds. Oh. I showed it to him the other day. <clears throat> Man, I'm telling you, I've, I've I've just been I've just been drying it to cr and and picking it, and it's coming back so good. I'm so proud of it. <laughs> I did move that um that uh, tomato plant. Hopefully, it will do good. It really looks scrawny, though. It just looks so scrawny. I don't know. Maybe I'm I, maybe I'm not going to get any tomatoes like you like you uh, gave me unless I start a new batch and do them for the fall. I can't grow tomatoes in the summertime, though. Lemon basil. I picked. And ate it raw today. Oh, you know what? I've never tasted it raw. I'll have to do that. Yes, he's doing this. Where is she at? Okay. She be gets in underneath my underneath my chair over here. I don't know. She's a mess. She can't be left to boot to herself. She's got to be on top of us. That's dogs for you, though. Oh, what a day, what a day. I have run from 6 o'clock this morning on... I started in the garden at 6 o'clock this morning. About time you did something. <laughs> Brenda wasn't here to see me get hit. I sent you a picture of our yard... To table meal today. Yes, I got that wise in car practice. I don't know when you sent it to me, but I saw it. Um, I saw it come across. Uh, that was very good. We ate deer meat tonight too. David made. He cooked. He cooked, guys. He cooked uh, a roast and a, roast. A, a deer rump roast, and um, and uh, it was delicious. I mean, really, really good. And um, then I tossed on some baked beans and, and um, some um, cottage cheese with mine. It was very good. <clears throat> was yours good? I know you sent a picture of it, but I don't know if it was good or not. Hey, White Flowers Homestead. Now, let me see if I can remember her name. It's not Fran. Don't ask me because I can't tell you anybody. It name. is. Um, There's Best Yet Journey. Hello there. She was in here the last time I was here. Yep. I'm glad to I'm glad to hear that, Holland, because it sure did look good on the on the picture. I'm like, if this didn't taste good, he's not gonna be happy with this as good as it looks. Mm -mm -mm. Whole heart heritage sounds good. She's Fran. Yeah, she's Fran. I can't remember what white flowers name is. I should be able to remember this one too. Meek. Yes. I'm so bad with names, guys. Remember, I'm so sorry. Remember the meek shall inherit the earth and then you'll remember her name. Yep. Talking about meek, you know, the the meaning of that being meek and 
everything in choir today. It was so cool. Um, um, Mark was telling telling us now. You don't always have to be fully out there. Sometimes you need to be a little bit more quiet. <laughs> I was like, okay. Here we go. I need to learn this. I need not to shout. I sing I sing loud. Hey there, whole heart. Heritage Homestead. That's Fran. She's saying hi to everybody. Yeah. Oh, I'm itching like crazy. Because I've had my hands in um, in mango juice all day long. Which is also probably a little bit irritating. Howdy, ho, heart. How are you today? Um, I'm doing good. Okay, so most everybody's on here, I think, that was on here last week. And maybe a few. Well, there are some missing because there's only nine on here. UCLP's not here. Yeah. But uh, when somebody comes in, I'll ask them if they did it. Did anybody do their homework? Does anybody remember what their homework was for this week? Well, if it makes any difference... <laughs> She didn't remember it. I'm the one that reminded I would have remembered it. Yes, yes, I remembered. Okay. So tell me, Teresa, what did you do that made you happy this week? And can you tell us? <laughs> Been hot and eating my... Eaten by mosquitoes. Aww. Skeeters. How is your back doing, David? My back is real good. It's uh, I've had three spinal injections, and the two they did tip both sides on the first round on both nerves, and it took five days to get my legs under me 100%. Then they did one in the center, and boy, that one really helped. Hey, Holly. Um, Teresa did her homework. She says she had fun watching fireworks with the family. Holly, I just got done asking everybody if they did their homework from last week. I, I gave y'all a homework lesson um, um, to do something that makes you happy this week. Well... I, I, I'll share with you guys. I did something that made me happy. I literally finished up the garden pretty much. I got one little space on the end, and I'm telling you, I worked in that garden every single day, and that makes me happy. The grandkids really loved it, and the son-in-law that is in the Air Force had never in his life, shot a firework himself, and watching his excitement was wonderful. He is from Brooklyn. Wow. Hey, Patty. Did you catch that? Did you do your homework? The homework was doing something that made you happy this week. Did y'all do something that made you happy? If you did, share it with us. Oh, there's Brenda. She says she's on the road. Ah. She'll be home shortly. Though. Can't chat, but should be home soon. Cool. My happy has been trying to trust God and worry less. Good girl. Oh, my, Teresa, how wonderful. Yep. Teresa needs a lot of happiness going her way, so y'all need to pray that. We need to we need to lift her up constantly. She's she's struggling with some battles there. I've been singing around the house a lot. Good girl. That definitely makes you happy. Was it like the look on Kathy's face the other night? She 
was here and saw snow for the first time. I bet you he did. I, I really bet you he did. I, I'm scared to death of fireworks. And the one time I shot fireworks off at his house, I somehow was holding bottle rockets with this hand and the sparks hit the bottle rockets in this hand and these all exploded in my hand. So it burnt my hand. Was it, or was it just the opposite? It doesn't matter. It was one hand burnt the other hand. And the weird thing about the whole thing was um, this little girl that was at, well, she's not a little girl. She's my kid's age. They're grown. Anyways, this girl, Jamie, said, um, well, I know we'll take that burnout. Teresa so, said he said he is going to start a 4th of July fund for fireworks like people do for Christmas, laughing out loud. Wow, yeah, cool. Um, so she ran in there, and she got a bottle of mustard and literally smeared it on there as thick as it could be. And I'm telling you, I was able to go to sleep that night and sleep all the way through, and it did not... It did not um, leave scars or anything. I was very best, fortunate. Best yet, says I made the beginning of a flower bed. I, I rehomed some lilies and some money grass. That's what made her happy. Cool. I I am I'm hoping I'm praying. Um, I went over to meet my Ashley's um, uncle. Uncles <laughs> and all their family members and stuff um, on her biological side of the family, and um, um, we had a wonderful time the other day. And they have they have candy stripe amaryllis between the two houses, and they're going to take them all out. And she said that I when they do that, I can have them. She pulled up one and gave it to me. While I was there, but I was like, oh, I'll take every single one of them. I know exactly where I'm going to put them. <laughs> Holland says fireworks there are 30 round magazines. Wow. I want to send him something if it'll work. It didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work the first time around. Well, but they took it off Facebook. No, that, there it is. I'm going to send it. <laughs> Holland, Holland, you're going to have to look at it right away. Seriously, mustard for pain relief. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yellow mustard. She just smeared it all over, and then um, we wrapped it in towels so that I wouldn't, you know, like, it wasn't towels. It was uh, uh, gauze-like tape stuff and wrapped them up really good so that I couldn't scratch it off or lose it off or anything. are you doing? I, I sent him something. I was just trying to get rid of it. Sorry. Um, and it works so good. Yes, we do that. For burns. Yes. I never knew it. I, I was like, mustard? Why? Are you sure this is going to work? She's like, yes. You have to trust me. Please say you'll trust me. And I said, yes, I'll trust you. He liked, he liked it. it, whatever it is. I eat yellow mustard when I have leg cramps. Really helps. Wow, I'm going to have to remember that because I really like mustard. Mustard has turmeric in it. Hmm. I didn't know that. I thought I thought it was just ground mustard seeds. That's That's showing you what I know. I'm trying to watch you on my TV and it keeps buffering so bad. I'm sorry to hear that, Fran. Now Fran has got if you if you guys can post a channel, I want I'd like you to post a couple of different channels. I'd like you to do Red Shed and uh, and uh, Fran at Wholehearted Homestead. There's there's some newbies that need some some tender love and care. And anybody else here wants to do their 
post their um their things too. There's and fish fishes and loaves too. All all you guys can post your uh I, I know you have to have a wrench, but um if you want to post your uh channels you can. Post the other people's channels. So yes. they, yeah. So they can go there. I'm here. Sorry, just saw the time. Amazing how 20 minutes can pass quick. Yes, you should have seen me, Carol. Uh, um, okay, I got up this morning at 6 o'clock and worked into the garden until way late. Then I had to run to the school because the kids get lunches here uh, on three days a week. Um, it, if you've got little kids, you can take them to the school and pick up lunches for free so i took them over there and it's got it's got some things they will not eat but you know it is what it is well, he says are, mustard on his biscuit cool yum um that's what he said there's some there's some uh there's a like a sandwich meat thing in there with on 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 hamburger bun good you. night white flowers see ya Oh, are they leaving? Okay, have a great night. Duty calls. Um, what was I saying? Oh, so and, and they come with um, they come with uh like a breakfast something little something like a little cake or something or uh, or muffin I mean, and sometimes it's a pop tart, and then they come with some uh. Uh, things of fruit, Look, and Carol sometimes did. they have these little things. You know. Carol put a link up. Cool, thank you, Carol. Um, um, and white flowers too, if you can, Carol. Um, so that way everybody can. I, I hate the way YouTube did this, so we can't share each other that easily. Um. But anyways, this has a ton of stuff. They, there's like, they usually give me like um, four little things of milk for them. There's Cheryl's so, organic food force. Hello. Hey, Cheryl. How are you today, honey? <laughs> Great to have you in here tonight. Um. So we got all that delicious food, and it, it was every single day. Now it's gone to three days a week, which is okay. I mean, they don't have to do it at all. So I take the kids over there and let them let them get because those are things that I would not purchase for them to eat here. So they enjoy it. But um, and post Cheryl's uh, thing too if you can for me. We're, Cheryl, what I'm doing is I'm posting people's um, channels so that they can go over because YouTube's made it hard to be able to uh, get so, other other people without doing a bunch of stuff. Um, so anyways, David made his first jar of jam tonight. I'm so proud of him. We've been cutting mangoes all day long he brought he brought two boxes a milk crate and a what do you call that thing that it's bigger than a wheelbarrow it's a a pull behind cart for a tractor you're welcome cheryl yeah it's a pull behind cart and it's huge and it was full of mangoes and they're all perfectly ripe so we've been making we've been making gel uh, jam. I say jelly even when it's jam for some reason I don't know. So if I if I say it wrong, you guys correct me or just overlook it because I'm weird. If I'm posting ladies and gents, I am subbing. Cool. Thank you. The Sorry, I'm not helping with mod tasks tonight on my back right now. That's yep. okay, Patty. I hope you're feeling better. Man, I'm telling you, you've really had a rough time with it, ain't you? Colin says apple butter and mango jelly put away. Sounds great. 
are you out of your mango jelly, uh, uh, Holland? Should I bring you some more? You're not supposed to touch it. Go put it back. I'm going to whoop you. I told him he ain't supposed to be touching it. God, he's sealed. You're cool, awesome. Anybody want me to see him whoop me? me want to see me whoop him? <laughs> That's what Brenda wants to see. Uh huh. So I've got tons of stuff done this week. I can't get over. Hey, Wilma, how are you tonight, baby? I've got to. I've got to uh, do some more. Um, um, dehydrating my my um, lemon basil, but I am so. Hey, Patty, how's it going? Um, I am doing my best to learn as much as I can, and I've been watching a lot of uh, Heidi on. Rain Country on um, all of her herbs and stuff like that. I'm trying to get all the stuff down that I can so that I can start growing these things. I never grew herbs. I don't know why I never grew herbs. I, I just don't know why I never did. I just, I guess because um, I never really used a lot of herbs in cooking until the last few years well they're going crazy sharing them links now that's what we want thank you guys i appreciate you sharing them links for us um um how do you pronounce that wide wide hi wide family how are you tonight um I still did not make it to the post office. I need to be beat. I've been so busy today. I've had to go to Walmart twice. Once I went there this morning for some pimento cheese because me and the kids really wanted pimento cheese. And then because um, I found out the same brand that I get at, at uh, Sam's, they sell there. So I got that. And then... Um, I had to go back and I ended up getting, what was it, 10 packages of, uh, of Sure Gel and stuff like that. I've got to learn how to do the other, the, there's another um, stuff that you can buy in bulk and use for, for uh, doing jelly and stuff, the pectin stuff. I've got to turn it back this way because I can't see it there. Wilma says, need to make that stuff. What stuff? Whatever you was talking about. I don't know what I was talking about. I lost my... Oh, I know. I Oh, you're talking about the uh, uh, pimento cheese, right? Well, I did... I used to make it all the time. But it's so expensive. It's so much more costly to make that than it is to just buy it already made. But I do like mine better than, than the one that I can buy. Carol says, my little finger is tapping like crazy on my phone, <laughs> laughing out loud. <laughs> oh, are you using your phone, Carol, to do this? Yeah. Wow. I don't know how she does that. I can't use my phone for, for YouTube at all. It doesn't work. I'm here and all clean from shower. Hot, humid day. Yes, it was a hot, humid day. It was crazy here, too. <clears throat> yeah, it does taste better, Wilma. <laughs> we got some really great channels in here tonight, guys. I'm impressed, Carol. <laughs> Higgs answered your question. He said, Kathy, you know I need jelly. Oh, I didn't see that. I'm sorry. I missed it. I'm going to bring, I'm bringing, when I come 
uh, Holland, I'm going to bring you some shark, some um, um, I, I think I've got flounder in there too and um, jelly. So you're going to have to keep keep my brain up tune whenever it comes close. You're going to have to remind me what I need to bring you. Oh, you use yours too? Uh, Cheryl, I didn't know that. I thought you used your computer. Well, I'm not that far advanced. I have trouble on the phone. <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking about getting me a new phone because mine's just not... I can't even take pictures anymore with it. Or anything. Oh, there, she put my channel up. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Carol. Uh, and if y'all don't have Carol, make sure you make sure you look her up. She's she's got a channel too that's really cool. Well, she's hope. Wilma says she's hoping to get started with her channel soon. Yeah, I keep bugging the fire out of her. She's got a beautiful place there, and uh, she's got a lot of knowledge and stuff like that. She's living good, out in the country most of her life. She's a good grower, good cook, too. Yep. If they ask me, uh, are you going to Wilma's house for Thanksgiving? I'd say, yeah, buddy, she can cook. Christy says she only got the phone, no computer anymore. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I just, this, this computer is really great, but that I have this Apple is so fantastic, but I just don't know how to do my videos on it. So when, when I'm going to have to get some lessons in, in September so that maybe by the time, uh, the girls, um, I don't know if I told you or not, but Brenda and, um, and, um, Teresa are coming to visit me in, uh, October. <clears throat> oh, and Brenda, I've been scoping out the places for you to get uh, some good antiques. And we got a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of uh, thrift stores around here. We could just have a blast. I only have... Okay, I already read that. Okay, Mama Cheryl. Said, thank you. Cheryl's leaving. Good All right, night. Cheryl. Have a great night, honey. Thanks for coming in. Hey, Ashley. Ashley says, hey, Mom and Dad. <laughs> yeah, Ashley, you need to get a picture up there. Your avatar is just dull. <laughs> Christy doesn't have a picture either. <laughs> Take care of Cheryl Boone, Karen. Careful, Candy. <laughs> Wilma saying hi, Ashley. Oh, I'm so excited to get uh, those. Um, Wilma's going to say bye to somebody. She's saying, uh, I don't know who she's saying bye oh, to. Oh, Cheryl. Oh, okay. She, yeah. <clears throat> um. Kathy and Lily said hi. Hi, Lily. I miss you. I can't wait to see you in September. <clears throat> Maybe I like my dull avatar. <laughs> she even stuck her tongue out, Daddy. Lily says hi, everybody. And I'm itching to beat 60. What's your Those uh, mangoes really tearing up my hands. Huh? What's well, well, on your list next? Uh, those of you that came in later on, I gave you a homework thingy. And if you haven't told what 
your homework was. Your homework was to do something this week for yourself that makes you happy. So a lot of us already told if you didn't, if you didn't get in on that, go ahead and get in on that. Um, and I got some, I got some stuff that's got to go out tomorrow. I, I promised Holly. These I'm sending to Holly. Rooster um, thingies. And um, I've got to send, uh, I've already made up the, uh, the, the, I've got three different seeds for, for uh, Patty and Mac over at Southern Blast. Whole, whole heart heritage is going to leave. Something going on with the internet. I'm sorry, Fran. I'll see you next time, babe. <laughs> you like them, huh, Wilma? So, Patty, yours is going. Your your and Max letters going out tomorrow, along with Holly's uh, uh, towels. Hopefully, they'll get to you in time. Y'all take care, and I'll catch you next time. That's what whole heart said. Thank you, Fran. Wilma Browning, you need to post your channel, hun. I can't find you in search. She hasn't started. We her haven't. Channel. We haven't. Uh, she hasn't started it up yet, Carol. We tried to name her channel, and for some reason, it didn't stick. So we've got to fix it. But she has problems with internet where she's at. She's in a rural area, so she has a hard time getting internet. Mac will be delighted. <laughs> LOL, thank you. <laughs> I, I, I'm telling you, I've been so excited to send these seeds, but I just, and I'm so mad at myself. I was down there by the post office twice today. I went to Walmart. And I still didn't get these two things out. My brain just don't work. I even went to the thing tonight to choir and didn't have anything to drink. And I have to drink water constantly or else I get dehydrated. Uh, it is not public. That's why. Okay. It will be soon. We're, we're going to fix that. I'm pushing her a little bit at a time. And Wilma, those plants, let's see, can you see me? Oh, I have to put it up there, don't I? Oh, well, those plants are that high now that you gave me. Well, Holly asked you a question. What? I'm, oh, you sent, are sending us seeds? Yes. I'm sending you, um, I think I put black-eyed these are things that I've grown. Black eyed peas and um, the noodle beans and one other one. Oh, uh, four o'clocks. I think four o'clocks. Yes. I think those are the three. And you're going to think I'm crazy. Don't laugh at me, please. I, 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 I went through my... Um, uh, buttons that I use uh, for I, I, I went to a garage sale one time and bought a whole lot of antique buttons and that's what I put on on my things so um, when I did that I found all of these that just had a button or two in there and they're a little thing so it may say extra extra button on it <laughs> that I crossed it out that's what I've been putting seeds in because I like to, I like to uh, repurpose things. So you're getting an antique envelope <laughs> with your seeds in it. So you can laugh if you want to. Got to take a break from posting links because little guy is trying to sleep too soon. 
typing, trying to keep him up or he will only nap. Oh, no. Make sure he stays awake then. Yay, I love seeds. Mac gets card. I get seeds. <laughs> Wilma wants to know if that's the black eyed peas that she gave. Yes. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. But you know, remember, Wilma, I am not getting long, long things like yours. Mine are really short. And I don't know if it's because of my the heat here or what. Or I don't know what it's from. It's been ridiculously hot. It has been crazy hot. It's like they start they start out working and then they peter out. I have done projects using old buttons. Made a letter for a friend and she divorced and later on front out. Found out. Found out she was not such a great friend kind of want my buttons back <laughs> <laughs> that's too cute fish is a love life boy i remember that struggle with my now 43 year old back, back in the day difference in temp and soil yes i sense. think so Kathy, you should see these purple cher cherry tomatoes. Tomato. Mines are hanging full in Plus. clusters. You're breaking my heart, Higgs. Mine are not doing nothing. Yeah, well, that's because tomatoes don't fruit in temperatures above 70 degrees. I got a tomato in the kitchen, yeah. in the kitchen window that I pulled out there. I yeah, got another well, one, keep it but cool. I still only got one or two tomatoes here. So, and I'm thinking that mine probably, it stunted because I had it underneath the tree and not in full sun. Oh, goodness, Higgs. What kind are they? They're purple cherry tomatoes. They're so good. Carol the says her purple ones died. And Patty says, uh, the tinker's wife says, tomatoes will not fruit in temps over 95 degrees. Yep. Well, the, the... The temperature hasn't gone to 95, but the heat index makes it way over 100. So... We've already had 114 degree heat index this year. Tomatoes want, won't ripen well on the vine if it gets too hot. Yeah, I pull them uh, because I know this sounds terrible, but I pull them because I don't want the squirrels. The squirrels around here are just nasty. I want to get a, I want to get something to shoot them with, but I'm afraid that um, I might hit somebody's window or something. <laughs> Hicks says they are a Chinese experiment, I think, Patty. I ate them when I was at their house, and they were absolutely delicious. Mm. See, this is my second, my second round of tomatoes this year. Um... My tomatoes on the trellis, I took them out because they were done. And now I've got the tomatoes that I started later Mama's on. Mama's got so many tomatoes on, on the vine, they, the racks are tipping over. Yeah, I'll have to show you her thing. She, put a, she did put a, a video on Facebook. <laughs> she was telling me that today of all the canning stuff she did. I haven't got to it yet, though. So. I can't remember you, where you're at, um, Wade family. Why? Wide family, I'm sorry. I don't know why I can't get that right. 
They must be in colder climate because they just northeast Ohio, that's why. So, um, just a bit, Wilma. <laughs> Hig says, fishes and loaves. I'm in a weird zone. I'm between Nashville and Tennessee and Duke of Kentucky. Depends on who you listen to. Six or seven. You here. Oh, oh, my cucumber. I got to get out of here and show you my cucumber. Talk to him for a minute, baby. Yes, he's going to go get a cucumber. The only thing wrong with that cucumber, it's got spines, I mean, thorns on it. I'll wipe them all off. Oh, good. And I'm gonna bring my mater too. <sighs> That's my cucumber. Ain't that a doozy? And this is my beautiful little mater. I can't wait to eat that for lunch tomorrow. I'm gonna make me a mater sandwich. I'm going to go to the store and get me some bread just for that sandwich. Are you going to get this mayonnaise or use all these? I'm going to use all these mayonnaise. I like all these mayonnaise. And, um, um, oh, now you made my brain stop. Oh, oh, oh. I have 19 chicks in the brooder now. Lift that up and see if any more hatched. No. They ain't. They ain't no, no more hatched in there. Moving around in there. Cucumbers are going crazy, though. I get a ton every day. I used to live in Hopkinsville, Kentucky. All you had to do, you don't have to do anything. Just take your finger and lift that up, darling. Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's warm in there. Yeah, is there any no. hatched? All right, well, I'm going to be putting, how many eggs did you say you bring me? About 80. About 80 eggs. And, and we got to float test them and all that crap tonight, too. And, and we're going to take all the rest of those eggs out of there and Start a new batch. Let's see here. I have to go put some lima beans in canner. I will be listening. Cool. Thank you, Patty, for listening. That's amazing. Wow. Most lovely. We will pick again on Friday. Half runner beans. I planted some half runner beans. Um. In the garden on the other mm -hmm. side and this side over here I planted those moldy uh, long beans they work they're coming up like crazy I'm so excited now I haven't got any butter beans they're up really nice and they're filling out the uh, um, the um, what do you call those things? Vertical planters. Above ground planters? Yeah. Vertical planters. My They're tomato. Not vertical. They're horizontal. What? Yes. Whatever. Um. <laughs> Go ahead and make fun of me. No, I ain't making fun of you. Uh, Patty says her tomato is smaller than a chicken egg right now. But they are pear-shaped and honestly good. 
Carol, the seeds actually were from China. Wow, I didn't know that, Holland. Carol pulled down, down an avocado from a tree on company property. Common property. And got good sized one only to see that some rat teeth had been yep. Yep. Little varmints. Well, we're supposed to start on the chicken yeah. this weekend. I like Dukes too, but I really love all these uh mayonnaise. My family's making pickles tonight. Yum. I wonder, can I make pickles with these things? Sure you can. They look so funny. All right. It yeah, smells so good, though. What is your deal? I think I'll cut that tonight. My mom is a Hellman's. I can't stand Hellman's. I'm sorry, guys. I mean, I'll eat it, but I'd rather have all these. I, I like craft too, but. Pig says that Lily's on a kick and you're making your own mayo. Ooh, that sounds yummy. I like homemade mayonnaise. <laughs> My husband would only eat Hellman's. So gross with all the different diseases making it come back. Did not want to chance ripening it. Aw. Miracle Whip is my favorite. I'm sorry. I, I, you couldn't pay me to eat it. I tried when I was a kid and it used to gag me so bad. I don't know why. I guess because it's sweet. I want to try that, Higgs. My husband only really likes Miracle Whip. Wow. It's funny. You know, um, that's another thing, too. I've never been able to eat, uh, like, cornflakes. <laughs> They make they used to make me sicker than a dog when I was a kid. I mix ghost peppers. I mix ghost pepper hot sauce I made with mayonnaise and put it on egg sandwiches. That sounds good. That sounds really good. Well, guys, I have to tell you, I made I made apple cider. I think it turned to wine. I think it's, I really think it went to wine. It smells like wine. Did you smell of it? It's on the stove. I still gonna give it to my chickens. That sounds zesty. It sure does, don't it? Now, Holland can eat some hot stuff. I don't, I don't know how you do that, but I just can't. My poor little mouth would be burnt, blistered. You're just calling if he's ever had any Carolina Reaper. Yes, I think he grows them. Uh -huh. I've been eating all the lemon pepper like candy. They are so tasty. I'm impressed. Hmm. I've never heard of that. Lemon pepper. I made the mistake of giving my dogs a raw egg. Now, Charlie sends over the hens and barks at her if he wants, wants an egg. Oh, my word. That is hilarious. Now, I'll tell you, if I think an egg's bad, I'll give it to Ginger and she'll eat it up. Isn't that weird? But if it's if I know it's bad, I don't give it to her. That's okay, Teresa. Wilma says she's gonna fix her tomato sandwich when she's when you're 
Yeah. I think I'm, I I don't know if I'm going to wait for tomorrow. Mm. Smell that. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't know if I'll wait till tomorrow to get that. I might eat it again tonight. But I did already have I don't have no bread. I have to wait till tomorrow. See, I don't buy bread, guys, because I'm not supposed to have it. Honey, I'm home. I'm right here waiting and listening. <laughs> Brenda's home. My family can't have like, eggs at all. Oh, no. Oh, the poodle can't have it. Oh. Be still my heart. I can't imagine not being able to eat eggs. Kathy, I took Rebel for a date tonight. Might be having puppies soon. <gasps> oh, Holland. I need, I need dogs like yours. You, you, you wait till you meet his dogs. You're gonna be amazed, David. Oh, I'm so glad you made it, Brenda. A date? <laughs> yeah. She wasn't quite ready yet. Oh, no. So he didn't get to do his business, huh? They're very good dogs. I agree with you there, Teresa. What kind of dog is Rebel? Uh, I can't remember. Australian Shepherd? No. I can't remember. What pigs? What kind of Belgian? Mal. How you say that, babe? These dogs are awesome. Mullinies. They're absolutely beautiful. I knew it was a I knew it was a different country's name. <laughs> I'm bad with names, Holland. Hey, hey. Nice to have you back, Patty. Malinois. See how I pronounce it out? Malinois. Belgian yeah. Malinois. <laughs> Our friends have a cor corgi and the male has a date with the doctor. Snip, snip. That makes you want to cross your legs, don't it, guys? I can't believe I just said that. Catherine, behave. I had to put a load of laundry. We saw two Belgian Malawas mix in a rescue down here. Pretty dog, she said. It moved, so I couldn't. I didn't. I was trying to find it again. My neighbor has a corgi named Waffles. He is adorable. They artificially inseminate their dogs. Wow. No snipping, just a lot of tugging and pulling. Hmm. Police and military dogs, working dogs for protection and drug and dog sniffing. That's what I need. But my luck, they'll probably put them down in, in, on the grass out there and, and uh, I'd get in trouble. Those dogs are so energetic. I played with one that <laughs> belonged to a police officer. 
Patty says, go to your room, Kathy. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I'm bad, ain't I? I want one. <laughs> I sent you a picture, but picture, but of this tomato. The corgi sleeps with their miniature pony named Stink. They are best friends. That's cute. She must have sent it on Messenger. Mm -hmm. Oh my word. Look at the tomato that she just sent me a picture of. That's a pretty big tomato. Wow. I wish I had enough tomatoes to start doing some canning with them, but it don't look like it's going to happen. I guess I'm going to have to go to the produce stand and get me some. My Wine family says their corgi sleeps with their miniature pony and stink. I just read that. Oh, did you? Sorry. Go on down to Christie. My son wants a corgi. I guess that's how they say. Yeah. I wants to name him Einstein. My granddaughter started her business as an Aquin physical therapy pro practitioner this week. So proud of her. Wow, that is an accomplishment. Nice matter. Nice mater. Uh, I want a miniature horse and tell people it just a great day. <laughs> We've lost two great names. Christy, the officer, and I got mine from wants me to suit up and take his as they put it leg. Let the dogs attack me. No. Well, now we're on dog subject. I had pretty, pretty I had two. Uh, it's a horse, horse therapist, her, her granddaughter. I had two uh, walkers. They look like beagles, but they were 21 and 22 inches at the shoulder. They're pretty tall dogs. I used them for deer hunting, and now I've got a... All right, Wade family. The best dog i got now is a, a blue tick hound. She's a good one. She is a good one. <clears throat> this one's a pretty good one, too. But... Today, the kids left some chip in a bag on the couch, and the dog got the bag and took it to my bedroom and ate them and left the wrapper all torn up in the floor. You could at least put it in the garbage, young lady. Uh, Holland yes. said he loves walkers. Yeah, they got a good mouth on them, that's for sure. <laughs> You're a brat, Wilma. I don't have any any bread. I can't make mine. Walkers have good mouths. Yes, they bark a lot. Yeah, Higgs, they said the one I played with really goes after the guy in the suit. But he also plays with the officer's children. Yeah, they're really good dogs. I think they know, you know. Paul said to say hi, Kathy and David. Hey, Paul. Anyways, um, I I saw on on thing that the Broussards have gotten um. The uh, thing, don't say the name. The thing. Would you let me finish what I'm trying to say, babe? Okay. Have gotten uh, tested. They don't know for sure yet, but their daughter has got the thing. 
and uh, came home on a on a um, thing, on a weekend, and um, evidently, so they've been subjected to it. Them and uh, I want to say Garden for Cheap was there too. So and somebody else. I can't remember. So let's keep them in your prayers. Um, and um, definitely Teresa. And uh, how are you doing, Holland, with the back and the uh, Lyme's disease? We're still going to pray for you, but I'm just wondering how you're doing with that. I know you're doing a lot of work around there. Hi, Dr. Duncan. As long as I live, I'm not sold on them. Wow, that's that's a good thing to say about a dog. My oldest daughter was exposed to it at work Monday. Oh, my goodness. Oh, no. One of my daughters had to be tested, but it came back negative. Sorry to say this, Teresa, but sometimes they do come back negative a couple of times before they actually get a true reading. I'm in bad shape, but ain't giving in to it. Um, okay, so I got to write this down or else I'll forget. So Brenda's daughter... Broussard's, mm -hmm. Holland, and um, Teresa's daughter. She sneezes at work and they sent her, her to test. I think she is fine. Wow. It'll have to kill me before he stops. That's what Alan said. I'm in bad shape, but I ain't giving in to it yet. Praise the Lord. Who's that? Colin. Discovered mom went off her meds for 10 days, calling my drug addict nephew to move her out again this week needs prayer need prayers she has is she living with you uh carol or is she living on her own i'm i'm confused skipped her paxel a few times now it is hell when she does okay Phone is about to die. Good night, all. Be safe and God bless. Thanks, Wilma, for coming in. They are now testing everyone at her work, all because her co-workers went to the bar over the weekend. They've shut our bars down here, thank God. She lives with us and my kids. Um, do you have... Do you have um, How do I say this? It, it's not power of attorney, or is it power of attorney over her? Yeah, it is. If 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 you've got power of attorney over her, she can't just do that. Cindy has been worse late last couple of days. Okay, so we'll put Cindy on there too. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and pray. Because we've got to get back to cutting up mangoes. Got a long night ahead of me. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this time that we've had together. I pray, Lord, that you bless the families that are on here, the things that haven't been said that need to be said for you. You know what they are and you know what their needs are. I pray, Lord, that you 
um, make negative tests for all these people, the Broussards, Brenda's daughter, and Teresa's daughter, and uh, let them stay safe and sound and not with the thing that's going around. I pray, Lord, that you lift Holland up and Lily and give them good health and strengthen them. I pray, Lord, that you get Carol's mom back on her meds and get a clearer brain so that she can make better decisions instead of silly ones that you know aren't good. And I pray, Lord, that you heal Cindy. I, I, I tell you, I know that it's really rough and she's got to be very confused in the state that she's in already to have things that are going strange with her health wise Lord. I, I pray that you bless her and heal her and strengthen her and, and uh, these people that are taking care of people like Carol and taking care of her mother and her son and I pray, Lord, that you just lift them up and, and give them the strength that they need to keep going on. I pray, Lord, this, that you also heal the people that have been sick, Lord, um, and bring them back to good health. I know that um, um, Anna and... Um, can't think of his name, country preacher, um, were both sick with it too. And, and I hope and pray, Lord, that you bring them to their full capacity back, Lord. Also want to pray for the the other things, Lord, of, of, um, of us worrying about the people that we love that are coming in contact with these things, Lord, that are making people sick. Give us peace of mind that, that you know exactly what is going on and how to help these people, Lord. I want to lift Teresa up. Lord, make a way that she can get the things that she needs to get paid and taken care of so she can quit her job so that she can focus on herself, her family, and do the things that make her happy, Lord. Bring joy into her her life every single day instead of just a, a picnic, Lord. I pray, Lord, that you bless her and strengthen her. She's a good friend, and I want to uplift her the best way I can. I ask these things in your name, Jesus. Amen. Well, thanks, guys, for coming in. And uh, let's see. What did I miss? I've seen a friend go off the deep end over skipping meds. Yes. Um, we had a friend that um, I used to go hunting with a lot whenever we first met. Uh, he was a good friend of his younger brother. Uh, me and his younger brother and this guy, Mike and Eddie, we all used to go hunting together and, uh, um, we used to have a ball and he was fine then. And then later on, he ended up with, um, Good schizophrenia part. and bipolarness and, um, they put him on medicine and he, he got very large and very, um, depressed about his, his body and everything. Because let me tell you, when we were hanging out together, he had a very fit body, didn't he, babe? I mean, very muscular, very nice young man. And uh, just absolutely destroyed him. He would stop taking his medicine. And he would think people were coming to get him and all kinds of stuff. It was terrible. So I know what you're going through. You're welcome, Teresa. I love you. Thank you too, uh, Patty. I, I didn't put you in that prayer, but um, I should have, and I'm sorry I missed that. I should have put you in that prayer too. 
wide family says, yeah, the meds can make you gain weight. Yeah. Well, look at the prednisone. It, it blowed me up to 330 pounds. I mean, Uh, big hugs, everyone. This life can be rough. Good friends make it better. That's true. Guardianship would make a huge difference for the for you regarding your mom, Carol. That's true. Yes, that's true. God does know the need. Let me finish what I'm fixing to say. Okay. Um, years ago, my grandfather lived with us, and uh, it really saddened me that he uh, ended up going back to live on his own because he didn't do very well on his own. Blessings and love to all. To all, good night. Good night, y'all. Thank you, Patty. Um, I'll catch you guys next week and I hopefully that you guys will make yourselves happy somehow, some way this week and have a great week. I'll see you on Teresa's live on uh, Friday. Bye for now. Before you get up,